good morning on the here's to us it's dark and we have some artificial lighting up here to be able to record this but we today are leading 10 other boats so 11 total boats through the Demopolis lock and I am the coordinator so I'm going to give a call to the lock master and get the information I've already looked on AIS I don't see any targets in there um, arches or anything so hopefully they're awake and ready to give us some instructions. Hey, good morning. This is Captain Sam on the Here's to Us. How are you this morning? Good. I've got myself and 10 other boats that uh, would like to pass through. Uh, we're getting our acting gear and think we can be there around a 715-ish or so. 16 and 14. Are all the floaters or pins working, sir? The sec okay, so for us it would be uh, starboard side uh, the second one from the back is that correct 180 foot in okay all right so the second pin on the starboard is out all right so we'll have some boats rafting up okay sir we will call you on 16 and 14 any other special instructions okay thank you very much bye-bye as much as you try to plan these things somebody's gonna lag behind forget a line or whatever uh, so We'll do a roll call here in about five minutes and pass the instructions. And in the meantime, we're starting to ready to uh, get our lines loose tied. All right, six fifteen exactly. Boats wishing to lock through Demopolis Lock. This is here's to us. Here's to us. Stand by for roll call and instructions. Break. Roger. Okay, Sam, take the stern away from the dock on the port side here. Yeah, straight back, that looks great. Now away from the other side. Get too close over there. Good. What's the depth here now? No, you're all clear back here. Don't turn too soon. The, the, that bow will be good. Exactly. Alright, you're clear to turn. It's a little chilly this morning in Demopolis. Sam's gonna lead the pack out there. Can't even see him. It's so dark. It's 640. Alright. Beautiful, isn't it? The sun will be coming up in about I don't know. 15 minutes or so. We have a very long day ahead of us. Going all the way to Bobby's Fish Camp. It's about 95 miles. So we had to get an early start. All right, we're all coming into the Demopolis lock. There's a boat ahead of us. And several boats behind us. We're going up on the port side. So there are about um, 12 of us in here now, and they're all coming in. There is one pin that's not working, and so a couple of boats are going to have to raft off of each other, which no big deal. Happens all the time. More boats coming in. The sky is beautiful. The sun coming up like that. a lot of looper boats traveling together. It looks like those two are getting ready to raft up. Someone is going to be rafting off that cat back there. And then there's another little one in the back. So we are in the lock. 
12 boats total. One pin is out, so we're down to nine pins, and that means uh, three boats have rafted up. So pretty smooth this morning getting into the lock, and we are already dropped down a considerable amount. So we're ready to go once we get the word. Doors are open and the horn sounds, and boat etiquette is uh, go ahead and go out the way you came in. So we'll see how that works. Oh my goodness, this waterfalls. Did you have to um, give us some gas here? Really, it looks like it could be a crazy current over there. That's beautiful. Ooh, sun's up now. Look how pretty it is out here in the fall, going down the Tom Bigby River. Are you driving the boat or yeah. is, okay, Sam's driving the boat. There is another boat that's going to be passing us over on our starboard side. But, oh my goodness, how beautiful is this? Today is November 2nd, 19, uh, 19 2021. Is there another boat that's going to pass us, Sam? No. Okay. That's the Captain Earl Duvall. Sam already talked to him and arranged for a pass. And he said, port to port, one port, whistle. Port to port. Just in case some recreational boaters get confused. He made it clear we're going to pass port to port, one whistle, and I said, see you on the one, so that there's no confusion. He's probably going to have to do that repeatedly yeah. with all these boats in a row. Although, you know, loopers are pretty good at it, but sometimes you get somebody who gets confused. We'll slow her down here for the captain, and we'll pick it up. I do is like pass him slowly here and then I gotta pick it up because he's got a pretty good wake there and the autopilot will go crazy if it doesn't have some smash to go we turn into it a little bit here Sun is up, it's starting to warm up. That didn't yeah. feel like much of a wake. No, not too much of a wake. I not guess it bad. helps that you turned into it. Yeah, so. Going down the Tennessee Tom, mile marker 196.8. Behind us is a survey boat in the Captain and Sam have been communicating and that survey boat uh, gives a current reading on depth so they are out here working to make sure that the river's deep enough and they'll send the dredge on over I guess if uh, it's a little too shallow. Now Sam has seen some areas on the Army Corps of Engineers data, some shallower places around the bends especially, there's not much red going on right now around this bend, but we are so thankful that they are out here working. Make sure this river is deep enough for us. Yeah, it gets a little uh, interesting in here in these particular areas here. So. Right now we're showing 12. I have my depth alarm set for 11.5. Right now I just went up to 14. 15. 15. Nice. You know, so uh, just kind of keeping it back because like I said, 
It's one thing hitting something at, uh, that's not a log there, is it? It's oh, just a rip bolt. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you see You're the, good. Uh, uh, out there, it's one thing hitting something at uh, 11 miles an hour, and you don't want it to be hitting it at 20 miles an hour. Either one is good, but faster is worse. <laughs> Just take it slow around here. I'm starting to see 17 now, and once we get around this bend, we got a long stretch here, and there's no docks or commercial entities out there. We will uh, push it up a little bit. What's that out there? There is some log? debris there's over debris on over that side. On the inside of the turn. So I'm kind of keeping a lookout, and it looks like I see over there perhaps a uh, dock or something like that. So we'll take a look at that. We also have coming up in about three miles a dredge operation on the left descending bank. So we'll be looking out for that as well. But beautiful day on the Tennessee Tom, currently 192.4. You see that pipe that's in the front here? That was pushing out water. Looks like a smaller boat right on top of that barge. See that little boat? Shallow alarms going off, so obviously they need to be dredging here. Good place. This looks like a barrel. Yeah, and it's, he said a yellow marker. It, it is so rusty. It doesn't even look yellow from a far distance. Did you see it, Sam? Coming up on a bridge here about mile 173.8. Not about, I guess, 0.8 is pretty precise. But we're going to slow it down a little bit. And there's a little bit of structures up here, a boat ramp and a uh, bridge. And we'll bring it off a plane. We're doing uh, about 20 miles per hour. A nice deep water here, about uh, 27 feet or so. Slow it down as we go through here. Sometimes you really don't know if there's a fishing boat on the other side of that. And, you, and I see on my chart here there's a boat ramp, so you don't know what's going on. So bring it back and be safe. Bridge is up, and I guess they only put that thing down when there's a train coming. And beyond that, there's a big old highway bridge there. Hurry up and come on to one. That other barge is going the same way right. he's going. Yeah. You want me to get that? Okay. So good. It's 34 feet over here. How do you play this? Well, I'm just trying 
get past him like he said on the one here. So okay. this other guy. we've ever had this too close together before. No, we haven't. It's like, hey, change this one over. Yeah, we would have remembered. How they do that. They do it very <laughs> carefully. It just doesn't look like enough room to turn. Like another turn up ahead. Yeah. yeah, black belt. If you want uh, here to us to pass you here on this little bit of straightaway, or if you want to wait till you get around the next bend. Uh, come on with it. Come on. All right. All right. All right. Come on with it. <laughs> come on with it. <laughs> All right, we're coming on. Thanks.
We are about eight and a half miles out from Bobby's Fish Camp where there's going to be an interesting docking and array of boats as they uh, will, will obviously have to raft up. We did it before. We had somebody raft it on us. And I just don't know how it's going to work out. We have a 52 foot sea ray in front of us. We're a 50 foot boat. I heard there's a couple boats in there already. Uh, we'll just let the dock master sort it out. And then behind me, I've got at least uh, a 48 foot boat. So we'll see what happens. A lot of people ask about, you know, what is the most, uh, or what's the worst part of the loop. And I don't really think there is a worst part of the loop. I think this is a challenging part of the loop because between Demopolis and Coffeeville here, there are a few anchorages, but if you have a bigger boat, you know, the harder it is to anchor. And definitely it becomes a challenge uh, during the fall when the water, they're down to winter pool. So, but I do see along the way, you know, there's a lot of places that are not marked as quote, an anchorage on a waterway guide or active captain. But I think it'd be suitable to go in there and try to anchor way the depth looks to me and I would recommend if you're on this part of the loop and you are anchoring to use a trip line because there are a lot of trees and stumps and those types of things out there so if you don't know what a trip line is uh, go ahead and do an online search for that but it's a relatively simple deal it's just a way to be able to pull out your anchor at another angle <laughs> Thanks for coming along with us on this 96 mile trip from Demopolis to Bobby's Fish Camp where we are kind of rafted up. We're in the middle of things, aren't we? We've got two boats in front of us, a boat on the right and two boats behind us so we can't go anywhere if we wanted to. So we'll sort it out in the morning. We uh, like the rustic area here. Too bad the restaurant's closed. However, the staff here went out, took orders, and got us catfish dinner and salads and all that. So thanks to the folks here. We'll see you next time on What You Have To Do.